Anushika and I am in the Shivaji Nagar constituency in Bengaluru. Hi, I am Udhavi and I am also in the Shivaji Nagar constituency in Bengaluru. There is no parking space at all whatsoever. You know. I've never seen this guy here and you see them only during the election time, otherwise they never come. अच्छे आदमी हैं, पढ़े लिखे हैं, समझदार हैं। हम वो ऐसे नहीं हैं कि एकदम बाहर से हकाल दिया ऐसे नहीं हैं। खुद हमें एडवाइस करते हैं ऐसा नहीं ऐसा करो बोल के। We have seen in the past Arvind Kejriwal party in the Delhi, so he's promised and he's done things. So let's give an opportunity for a newcomer also. वो उसका जीतने का चांस नहीं वो क्यों देने का वो हमलोग को वोट वोट तो ये हो जाएगा उसलिए ना हमलोग उसको नहीं देंगे हमलोग को वोट इधर तो कर्नाटक में कांग्रेस का अच्छा ये चल रहा है कांग्रेस को ही देंगे हमलोग को We're back with another episode of exploring constituencies within Bengaluru ahead of Karnataka Assembly elections 2023. Today we're in Shivaji Nagar which is an important constituency in the city comprising many popular localities like Shivaji Nagar, Kaban Park, a major lung space in the city and the Vidhan Sauda as you can see behind us. So you know the drill, I'm going to go to fairly upmarket areas such as Vasan Nagar, Kaban Park and Jai Mahal extension. And I will be exploring other localities like Ram Swami Palya, Russell Market, Commercial Street, Armstrong Road to understand the mood of the people ahead of elections. So come with us as we go and explore this constituency. Shivaji Nagar is a 12.74 square kilometers constituency with six wards located in central Bengaluru. According to the Election Commission of India, it has around 2 lakh voters. Rizwan Arshad from the Indian National Congress has been the sitting MLA of this constituency after by polls in 2019. Prior to that, R. Roshan Beg was the MLA of this constituency. The Shivaji Nagar constituency is one of the 224 constituencies in the Karnataka Legislative Assembly. Right now, I'm in the Jai Mahal extension of this constituency. This area has got wide roads, big buildings, well-maintained public spaces. So basically, it's a very well-planned neighborhood. So ahead of Karnataka Assembly elections 2023, what is the cause that people would vote for? What in terms of development do they want from their next MLA? Let's go find out. Rizwan Arshad is an educated, peace-minded man common man is not horrible is a good person then all the facility has done road facilities drainage facilities basic needs as he has given the work which he has done during the, during the covid period we should not forget that the charity work what he had bought in through the you know uh, upper classes also that those things are pretty much uh, plausible i my car got ruined and because there was so much water logging, there is no water outlet under the bridges and when, the, when uh, there is a heavy downpour, we are all in, in distress because the underpass bridges are horrific. I don't know, you've got to do something about it, Mr. MLA. In his short tenure of three years, several voters claim that MLA Rizwan Arshad has done a good amount of developmental work. In the Jai Mahal extension, he mainly got work done on roads and solid waste systems. I hardly saw black spots in the area during my visit, but there's also a handful of people who claim there's still scope for improvement when it comes to civic necessities. What is the cause that you're going to vote for this time? What do you want from your elected MLA? See, first thing is, uh, I don't know whether it's... Uh, I, I've never seen this guy here, at least. I've only seen some posters of his. And you see them only during the election time, otherwise they never come. So. What kind of interaction can you really have with them? Probably they feel the Jamal is a, you know, a big locality and there are you know very well-to-do people, which is not true. When I mean, you have people of all uh, strata of society who live here, can you really reach them? That's the point. So while Rishika is exploring Jai Mahal extension area in the constituency, I am in Russell Market in the same constituency. It's a Sunday and lots of stores are open, lots of people are moving around and I want to make the most of that. So come with me as I go talk to people to try and understand what their concerns and expectations are ahead of the Karnataka Assembly elections 2023. <laughs> और इतना अच्छा कोई एरिया नहीं था यही एरिया सामने नहीं पूरा हमारा शिवाजी नगर पूरा एकदम बहुत खराब था 
अभी जब से आए हैं निशान और रशायत इतना अच्छा काम किए हैं पूरे गली पूरे अच्छे पाक हो गए हैं पूरे रोडें पाक हो गए हैं पब्लिक को आने जाने के लिए फुटपाथें अच्छे हो गए हैं और पार्किंग के लिए अच्छी दर जगह बना के दिए हुई पब्लिक को कोई तकलीफ़ नहीं हो रही है सब आ रहे हैं जा रहे हैं अभी दो साल के अंदर इतना करा हूँ तो पाँच साल के अंदर और क्या करेगा पहले बहुत बहुत दिक्कत थी हम तो इधर बैठ नहीं सकते थे इतनी गंदी बास आ रही थी इतनी बदबू आ रही थी आठ आठ दिन तक कचरा नहीं उड़ा देते वहाँ से तो अभी नहीं है ऐसा ऐसा नहीं है बहुत साफ सुथरा है अभी After talking to people in these two areas, Rishika and I decided to meet MLA Rizwan Arshad and see what he's got to say about the feedback we received from people. This ward in Shivaji Nagar constituency was ranked last in terms of garbage disposal. Last 198th. We have cleared 23 black spots which were here. We have beautified them. We have guided them how to segregate it, how to dispose it. set up a house to house garbage disposal system which was not missing earlier we are building schools we are building healthcare systems we have built a super speciality hospital we are building four primary health centers two digital li libraries women child and women center skill development center d addiction center so we have brought in a change and the development is visible to the people when the chilume water data theft struck shivaji nagar was one of the three constituencies that were affected some of the employees of the chilume trust had collected water data of bengaluru citizens illegally i have 193 booths in my constituency they identify 91 booths and they identify particular communities to delete votes and i'm so surprised on a political party's complaint the administration takes it up and goes ahead to delete it without following due procedures so my uh, uh contention was that why are you choosing a section of the area i mean society and a small area to delete votes if you want to identify people shifted you want to identify people uh, dead why don't you do it for the whole constituency still although they have deleted the names you can see on the uh, day of results I'll be winning with much bigger margin. Now I'm headed to Vasantnagar. So this area is fairly middle class area. It's different from Jai Mahal extension area. So let's see what people here have to say. And is there something different that they have to say here? Are the issues different? Are the demands different? Are the concerns different? Let's go and find out. The Vasantnagar ward has favored the BJP over the past decade. The corporators of this ward have been from the BJP since 2010. This time R Chandru who's also a resident of Vasan Nagar is contesting from the Shivaji Nagar constituency on a BJP ticket. I managed to catch him in the middle of his campaign. Yeva, nanu corporator agidinda. Local issues nanu thumba chana gottu. Yen issues sir. Sikapata issues ide ee UGD systems water line do ee permanent houses slums alli ee kade roads do ee storm water drains do सिखापट प्रॉब्लम्स है इवि रोडस के विचार कलपे कामगारी आगे अद्रे जन अरवे जन चेंजस् क्या ना जो पॉइंट विनती नम रोड चेना मोरी चेना समस्या वसंत नगर गंतू इन बेरे ऐरिया वसंत नगर गंतु ना कंगे ऐनू कांग्रेस होगी ना हिंदू ऐन गौरव को आगता अदर ना इवग नम हिंदुत्व इे का बीजेपी बंद नम्बे अंत अन्सते वैल ऋषिका वॉज इन वसंत नगर ई डिसड टू वसीट भारती नगर एंड जे सी नगर वाट्स इंट्रेस्टिंग हियर इज दि एंट्री इंटू पॉलीटिक्स फॉर् आप कैंडिडेट प्रकाश नेडुंगाड़ी The AAP candidate seems confident that he'll come into power since he has spotted some loopholes that he aims to fix once elected. So I've come here to make things happen. I've come here to completely set a new vision for Shivaji Nagar. This is the city center of our country, of our city. This is like all city centers, it should be the best area of the city. Unfortunately, it's one of the worst areas of the city except the VIP areas which are in very good condition. but the majority 80 90% of this uh, of this uh, constituency is badly neglected and it is a source of big corruption for the people in power so people are really losing money they are struggling the i'm talking about the middle class and the poor so they are looking at amani party and what we're doing in delhi they're seeing a candidate who is uh, who is honest who is highly educated who is highly capable 
And they're saying, wow, this is a person we should give a chance to. You will see in the coming week and on the 13th of May that the election result will be a, a surprise for the people who think that they have an easy time here. On my way to meet Rishika to see what she's found out from the areas of the constituency that she's visited. Uh, so interestingly, a lot of people had uh, many good things to say about the work that they've uh, seen, and they're hoping that you know that sort of work improves. Uh, but let's see what Rishika has to say. Okay, so we just got back from our respective areas that we were covering in this constituency. So Udbavi, why don't you start and tell us what you saw? Right, Rishika. So I visited some of these fairly low-income communities and spaces in the constituency and one thing that emerged was the poor maintenance of public spaces, particularly open drains, uh, government hospitals uh, or the lack of uh, clean spaces for people to move. Uh, but overall I noticed that there was quite a bit of vocal support for the sitting MLA Rizwan Arshad and uh, people were very uh, excited to have him back and they're hopeful that he will come back and continue to do the good work that he's been doing uh, over the past three years. But what did you see? So I went to fairly upmarket areas like Vasan Nagar, Kabin Park and Jemhal extension. So what I noticed here was people, a major issue was parking spaces. Apart from that, you know, traffic was an issue, bad roads were an issue. But another issue that came up was garbage collection and also the segregation. So these were our findings from the Shivaji Nagar constituency ahead of Karnataka Assembly elections 2023. Karnataka goes to polls on May 10th and counting is slated for May 13th. If you found this video interesting, like, share and subscribe. What constituency do you want us to cover next? Let us know in the comments below.